Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the indented style memorandum. Let me hope that you have watched the video on the block style memorandum. If you have not done so, I'll link it above and you can watch that and then you watch this one. All right. Um, so we start off with the word memorandum and being the indented style, right? The headings will be centered. So here we have, we start off with the word memorandum being center aligned. And please, I'm asking you, I have seen students type a document on left align and tab it over to the center. That is wrong because many a time it will not be correct. All right. It will not be at the proper location when you do that. So it's always best to select center alignment but you will select center alignment and then you type the word memorandum now this heading as i have it here is in all capital letters otherwise known as closed capitals after this main heading i have a triple space and then i will type the caption note my captions to from and those two are always on the left followed by date and ref on the right, all right? So it's always to, from, or to, date, from, ref. Sometimes you may see ref coming above and date below, but on the left-hand side, it is always to, from, all right? Again, the format doesn't matter if you want to say from, to, right? But um, to and from, seems better to, to be placed in that order. Okay, just as long as the information is there. Now these are written and note that two and the date are in the same line. Same thing with from and ref, same line. Note also that my information is properly aligned. So I have C being under the A above it. And likewise, I have the C in ref being on the immediately under the a above date all right the space it doesn't have to be so far apart all right it doesn't have to be so far apart but please ensure that it is properly lined up also because it is an indented style note my date is in the order for that indented style which is month day comma year full stop all right note also that i'm using the colons after each caption. If it's in the block style, these are omitted, but they must be there for the indented style. Right? I have Carl David, comma, supervisor. And this section is in double line spacing. So I hope you're noting all of this. So the main heading, let me turn on my show hide. So between the main heading and the body, all right, or the, the caption, I have a triple space, two unspaced show eyes. Then I have my caption with a double space between each. Okay, now following that, I have my subject heading. Note for the indented style that the word subject is not written. If you go back to the block style video, you will see that the word subject is written as it is aligned to the left with the other captions. All right. However, with the indented style, the word subject is not written. Instead, you just put the subject there. All right? So we have a double space after the caption, then the subject heading. Following the subject heading, we have a triple space, and then we start typing the body of the memorandum. Now, I don't have a line. A line can be placed there, but I'll, in the other format, I will show you with a line. All right. Now I have a triple space and then I start typing the body of the memo. Note that each paragraph is in single line spacing and the paragraphs are indented. There is also a double space between each paragraph. All right. So we do not type the paragraphs in double line spacing. That's a no, no. That is only done in manuscripts and 
in legal document. Also note here that I have an inset. How do I know that it is an inset? It is indented at 0 0.5 inches and it is in single line spacing. So this is a indented style memorandum with an inset. Now note my numbers. They carry the full stops after them. And that's how the number should be in an indented style memorandum or an indented style letter. Once the numbers are there, that signifies indentation. All right. And the information is in single line spacing. Right. Uh, Mrs. Let me put a full stop after that. Right. Um, so Mrs. Sandra Weston. All right. And the information continues with Mr. Derek Elliott, personal officer, full stop. And that is it, right? I can also attach to this the reference initials, the person who typed the document. So there it is. And that will be in the margin, all right? It will not be indented. And that's it for one format of the memorandum. I'm going to quickly go down to a second format. Now, this is format number two. Please note that the word memorandum this time, I have placed it in space capitals. Space capitals simply is one space between letters. All right. If it is that I had two words, it would be one space between letters, three spaces between words. All right. But this is just the word memo, random. So it is one space between letters. After I have the heading, again, I will have a triple line spacing followed by my caption. Note my captions in this format now, they are in initial capital letters, all right? But they carry also the colon at the end. And why? Because this is the indented style. No, not because they're in any caps, I'm going to bold and underline them. No, it's the caption, it's just the, the heading of the document. So that is not necessary. Note also that my date is in the format, month, day, and year, all right? And the caption is in double line spacing with the information written across from each other. So once I wrote star, then I tabbed over. And that my tab doesn't have to go so far. All right. I tab over and then I would have written date and the date. Okay. And following that, I have my subject heading. Note my subject heading this time is in initial capitals and underlined. All right, I'm going to insert. Let me put a double. I'm going to insert a line. All right, so I'm going to go to my lines and I'm going to select horizontal line. All right, and there you have the line in this one, in this example. All right, so there should be a space above and below that line. All right, a double space preferably. Then I have my subject heading. I'm going to highlight my subject heading to show you that it is on center alignment. And I would have said to you, do not left align and then tap over to the center. You will never get it properly centered by doing that. So you have to select center alignment and then you type the subject heading. Then you have a triple space after it. And then you start typing the, the body of the memo. All right. And the body, as I said, is in single line spacing with a double, um, with a double space between the paragraphs. And each paragraph is indented at 0 0.5 inches. All right. Let me line that up on the ruler bar. There you have it. Everything starting at 0 0.5 inches coming down. All right. Um, also I have something at the end. Note that this is now in double line spacing. So it is not an inset. This is, however, an enumeration, right? Enumerations are written in single line spacing with double space between each. All right, but you would not see this in single line spacing because it is only one line. All right, but the double space is there. And because this is the indented style, the enumerated items are indented at 0 0.5 inches. All right, so they are at 0 0.5 inches and double space between each with the full stop signifying that this is an indented document. All right, and that is it. 
So that's it for the other format of the memorandum. Let me do hope that you learned something today. If you do, please, I'm asking you, do not forget to like this video. And I realize that I've been doing such a good job because persons have been benefiting from this and I'm seeing this in my classes, etc. Right? But no one is liking the videos. Guys, please, I'm asking you, I can only get this out and you can only help me by me helping you by liking the videos, by commenting on them, and by sharing with others. And do not forget, if you have not yet done so, to subscribe to the channel. Alright? Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload.